Hello, welcome to Econometrics. Today we are going to talk about multiple integration model as a continuation from the previous session that we went through the simple integration model. Now under multiple integration model, we are going to see on how we can derive it. We are going to see on its effects. Now let's begin from here. Multiple integration model, this is the type of linear regression model which describes the relationship between one dependent variable and more than one independent variable. Now suppose we have y is equal to beta naught plus beta one x one plus beta two x two plus error ten. So we observe to have the two independent variable x1 and x2 but also we have also y which represent out the dependent variable. We sometimes refer to as independent variable the regressors or predicted variable or explanatory variable. And we normally refer to y as a dependent variable or the regressant or we call it a predictable variable. Beta dot and beta one, these are population parameters, and beta one the coefficients. Now, let's come and see on how we can drive the normal equation under simple denigration model. And the common method that is applied. In driving the multiple integration model is the least square method. Now solution now, uh, let's consider the two least square equations. Where we have y is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 plus error term which is the actual model. But also we have, let's consider the y estimated is equal to beta naught estimated plus beta 2 estimated x1 plus beta 2 estimated x2. This is the estimated model. Now from E, which is equal to bracket y minus y estimated, whereby E represented the Napier's constant or the Euler's numbers. Now we introduce a square. We square the E equation and we introduce the summation to both sides of the equation. Now it becomes E square is equal to bracket y minus y estimated bracket square. Now when we introduce summation, it will be summation e square is equal to summation bracket y minus y estimated bracket square. Now we plug in uh, we plug in y estimated, which is equal to beta naught plus beta 2x plus beta 1x1 plus beta 2x2. We plug it the equation of summation of e square. Now model now will become Summation of E square is equal to summation Y minus bracket beta naught estimated plus beta 1 estimated X1 plus beta 2 estimated X2 bracket square. Now for that case now we apply derivative change. We apply derivative change of summation of E square in respect of beta naught at first time and the second time beta 1 and the third time beta 2. Now it will be now derivative change of E square over the deriv over the deriv change of beta naught is equal to two summation of bracket y minus beta naught estimated minus beta one estimated x one minus beta two estimated x two. Now we take the left hand side of the equation is equal to zero. It will become now two times summation bracket y minus beta naught estimated minus beta one estimated x one minus beta two estimated x two is equal to zero. Now we divide by two both sides. Our model now becomes 
2 times summation bracket y minus beta not estimated minus beta 1 estimated x1 minus beta 2 x2 is equal to 0. When we cancel 2 by 2 both sides, Our model becomes now summation of y minus number of observation beta not estimated minus beta 1 times summation of x1 minus beta 2 summation of x2 is equal to 0. Now it will become now when we take out the left hand side then we, we add it to 0 on the right hand side it will become now summation of y is equal to number of observation times beta not estimated plus beta 1 estimated summation of x1 plus beta 2 estimated times summation of x2. Now this is the equation number one. Now again in order to obtain the div now the deliver the revelation in equation number two. Now again we take summation of e square is equal to summation bracket y minus bracket beta not estimated plus beta one estimated x one plus beta two estimated x two bracket square. Now we apply derivative change in respect of beta one. Since in the first time we applied derivative change in respect of beta naught, now this is the time of beta 1. So our model become now derivative change of summation of e square of derivative change of beta 1 is equal to summation of x1 bracket y minus beta naught estimated minus beta 1 x estimated x1 minus beta 2 estimated x2. Now we take this uh, right hand side is equal to 0. We take the equation in the right hand side is equal to 0. Now our model becomes now 2 times summation of x1 bracket y minus beta not estimated minus beta 1 estimated x1 minus beta 2 estimated x2 is equal to 0. Now for that case now we divide our equation by 2. Our model becomes summation of x1, 2 summation of x1, bracket y minus beta naught minus beta 1 x1 minus beta 2 estimated x2 is equal to 0. When as we, we plug in divide by 2 both sides, our equation now remains summation of x1 y minus beta naught estimated times summation of x1 minus beta 1 estimated summation of x1 minus beta 2 estimated summation of x2, x1 is equal to 0. Now for that case we shift out uh, left right hand side model is equal to zero then where we add in the right hand side. Now so the remaining equation will be summation of x1 y1 is equal to beta naught summation of x1 plus beta naught estimated x1 plus beta 2 estimated summation of x2 times x1. This is the equation number two. Now again to obtain the equation derivative of equation number three. We come again to summation of e square is equal to summation bracket y minus bracket beta not estimated plus beta 1 estimated x1 plus beta 2 estimated x2 bracket square. Now we apply now this time the derivative change of summation of e square in respect of beta 2. So it will become the derivative change of summation of e square over derivative change of beta 2 is equal to 2 expectation of x square bracket negative y plus beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 bracket. Now for that case now we take out the right right hand side equation is equal to zero where now it will become two expect summation of x2 bracket negative y plus beta naught estimated plus beta 1 estimated x1 plus beta 2 estimated x2 is equal to bracket is equal to zero. Now we divide by two both sides. Our model becomes now two expect summation of x2 bracket negative 2y plus beta not estimated plus beta 1 estimated x1 plus beta 2 estimated x2 is equal to 0 divided by 2 both sides. What will mean now it will be summation of x2y is minus beta not estimated times summation of x2 minus beta 1 estimated times summation of x1 x2 plus beta 2 estimated then times summation of x2 is equal to 0. Now we shift out our, our equation to, to the right hand side and then we add by 0. Now what we mean will be now summation of x2y is equal to beta naught estimated summation of x2 plus beta 1 estimated summation of x1 x2 plus beta 2 summation of x2 square. So this is the equation number 3. Now conclusively now 
our multiple linear regression model derivative equations will be now equals to So uh, derivative of the normal equation under multiple linear regression model will include the summation of y is equal to number of observation beta not estimated plus beta 1 times summation of x1 plus beta 2 estimated summation of x2 is the equation number 1. Then it will become summation of x1 y is equal to beta not estimated times summation of x1 plus beta 1 estimated times summation of x1 square plus beta 2 estimated summation of x1 times x2 this is the equation number 2. Now question number 3 now summation of x2 y is equal to beta not estimated times summation of x2 plus beta 1 estimated times summation of x1 times x2 plus beta 2 estimated summation of x2 square. This is the equation number 3. Now thank you very much for listening. This is DC Economics. I welcome you to other session. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. And all in all enjoy betterments for economics. Bye-bye.